Hey everyone, my name is Anthony Shea. I'm in a band called The Love Pools. And today I'm doing an unboxing review of the Phoenix Pro PTX15 mixing console. It has four different channels, uh, phantom power, so you can power condenser mics. And each channel also has three different bands of EQ. Uh, you're gonna have low, medium, and high. And uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up. So it comes uh, shipped from Amazon. Comes in this nice, nice white box. Uh, you can see uh, how it looks right on the picture here. So uh, looks like it has a decent amount of functionality for uh, its pretty cheap price for for uh, a small uh, portable mixing console. So one cool thing is you can plug it right in to your computer. You can use it on Pro Tools, Logic, uh, Ableton, whatever you use, GarageBand. Uh, as a digital audio converter. So if you don't have um, an audio interface right now, this can be used for that, which is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool feature. So let's open it. Uh, see what we got here. Okay, so it looks like we have a uh, power plug. Gonna need that to uh, power it, I would imagine. I don't think it's USB powered like uh, like some audio interfaces. That'd be that'd be kind of neat though. So it's it's fairly small, which is good. I, I don't uh, I don't really think you need to have a huge mixing console for um, for like especially like acoustic gigs stuff like that. Uh, less is more. I know that sometimes sometimes when I played gigs, uh, a big console just kind of gets in the way and you have to make room. There's there's tiny little stages out there. Okay, trying to open this without hurting this. All right, so right away, ooh, the sliders feel good. I just tested one out. Okay. Blech. Got it. So here's how it looks. Uh, right now the sliders feel very heavy. Uh, that's good. I definitely like heavy sliders. Um, I've had uh, lighter sliders just over uh, a lot of use kind of go bad. So I, I have to kind of hold it up or it's gonna be sitting here. So right off the bat, we have negative 15 low, negative 15 mid, negative 15 high. So these are the EQ bands. You can go negative uh, 15 decibels or plus 15. Uh, the gain goes zero to, to 10. It doesn't go to 11, uh, which is fine, but I do like uh, the spinal tap option. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I think the best thing to do is let's just plug it in and start playing and start messing around with the settings. And I'm gonna um, EQ it and adjust the sound to try to get it to sound the best uh, as we go along. I'm not gonna pre-do it because I think that's gonna be the most honest way to review the uh, Phoenix Pro PTX15. Hey everyone, so everything is zeroed out. Uh, I got signal. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and Hey everyone, everything is zeroed out, so that means I have not added any EQ on the board yet. So right off the bat, uh, I am using, just so you know the equipment, this is a Seagull guitar, it's like a S, S6, I think. And this is just a very cheap dynamic mic that you can pick up at Guitar Center, a digital reference. And uh, it's good, I think it makes sense to use uh, a cheaper mic because you can make cheap mics sound really good when you uh, EQ them the right way. So let's go ahead and just try to get the vocals a little more clear. So right now they're a bit uh, boomy. And uh, I mean, I am doing the proximity effect as well, but uh, it's actually needed for this song. I'm doing a radio hit song. So, okay, boom, check, check, check. <laughs> okay, so this is actually not bad. All I did was just raise the uh, EQ, now it sounds nice and crispy. Um, the sibilance is not that bad. It's it's a little rough. Let me back off a bit. Check, check, check. Okay, let's try this. So that's the EQ. So I pushed it to about 12. And uh, let's see now. Um, let's add some reverb. Uh, that, that's going to be important. Okay, so... Hello. Here's some delay. Looks like we got delay. It's like that uh, D, A... And dance. <laughs> we can dance if we want to. Kind of makes me think of that. Number nine. Okay, so let me see. There's got to be a way to change the effects. Uh, program. 
But there's a thing called program. Let's see if this is it. Hello? Check. 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 <laughs> I think this is it. Hello? Check. Yeah, we're getting changes. Okay. This is kind of cool sounding. So far, everything's super trippy. Uh, hello? Check. Okay, so there's um, there's going to be channel 1 that you have, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. You can control the send, so right here. Sends negative 40, and now we're pushing it. So uh, I just want to find a normal reverb sound. Uh, that, that's what I'm going to be using. So let's find, let's go through it. Start at 1. I would think 1 would be a reverb. Check. Check. Hello? Check. I don't know what that is. Check. Check, check. 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 Yeah, I'm just looking for like a hall reverb. Let's, let's see what we got. Oh, I, got, I forgot. I got the manual here. Okay. Let's take a look. So. All right. Uh, I'm going to kind of cue my voice as I open this up. So check, 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 check. Okay. So this is adding a lot more of a kind of reverby. I mean, not reverby, a mid range, which is good. It, it, uh, I think you want to add some mids. Sounds good. Okay. So the lows, low, low, low. Okay. Now it's really, uh, this is good for, let's say you're giving a speech or something. Uh, for me personally, and when I see stand-up comedians, I always like when their voice sounds full. So you add some lows. I'm hardly adding anything. It has a nice capture of, uh, of the lows, which is good. It's definitely not tinny. That, that's not how I would describe the sound of the board so far. Uh, okay, so I don't know if this has a section. I don't think it, it lists the effects, which is fine. We can just go through them one by one. Okay, let's just let's just try it again. Okay, next effect. Test. Check. Okay, so we're getting really weird kind of... Uh, these are not effects I would use um, for like a check. 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 There's got to be a hollow reverb somewhere. Check. 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 Okay, so this one I would... I would maybe use this. I would just kind of back off. Hello. Check. See, it's just kind of barely there. Um, sometimes it's good to just add. You just add a little bit just to fill the voice. Hello. Check. Everything is delayed. So these are all delays pretty much. And echoes. Yeah, I wanna, there's got to be a hall reverb. Check. Hello. I don't know what this one is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number one. It's kind of odd. I don't know what that is. Check. Oh, I see. Okay, so right on the console. That's so funny. It's right here. It says what each effect is. Let's, let's see if there's a reverb. Number nine, hall reverb. Okay, let's see. Number nine, check, check. Okay, I'll be honest with you. That's not a hall reverb, unless I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, you wouldn't get this. Check, 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 check. Hello, check, check. See, a hall reverb wouldn't delay like that. Uh, but it's okay. We, we can. I'm gonna figure out how to make it work. So let me go ahead and uh, try to perform something for you. Let's start dialing in the uh, guitar. It's a tiny bit out of tune. That's fine. Though. Okay, so we turn off the lower the voice, and we'll just focus. Hello. Okay, this is good. A bit.
kind of like it all the way high. I think it's too much trouble. Let me actually take off the high and then just raise the mid. Okay, no, no, no. That's definitely not the right way to EQ this. Okay, so I'm taking off mids, adding highs. I did a tiny bit of lows. I just like a full sound. Um, can obviously run the risk of getting muddy. I hope getting a little feedback. Not bad though. Check, check. Okay, so if you raise the lows, this is this isn't uh, the mixer. This is just my guitar. I have a custom pickup installed. That's these three little microphones. So anyway, let me hop on to uh, let me get this finalized and then uh, do a little singing because this is the best way to do a test. This is a mixer. This is for music. So. But one cool feature of it, I think you can actually do Bluetooth. Uh, you can play your phone. It says it's a digital audio player, so I would imagine you could play songs from your phone <clears throat> onto this. Excuse me, which is a very cool feature. Okay. So overall, the sound is, is not bad. Uh, this is good for acoustic gigs. Uh, obviously, the mic matters, stuff like that. But I'm, uh, for example, I'm using, as I said, this is a cheap, cheap mic. So the power of EQ, uh, a good sound person can make uh, cheaper equipment sound good. Uh, so, hello. <laughs> wait, wait. From your sleep. Okay, I'm gonna take off a little lows because when I really kind of sing lower, it, it it gets going a little too much. You know, a little too much frequencies getting eating up, getting muddy. Wait, wait. Okay, so the guitar is just a little too. I know now it's almost we're doing like a mixing thing, which is fine. This is a right. This is an audio mixer sound console. That's what we're supposed to do, right? Wait, wait. I'm just gonna take out the mids. Okay, too much. Well, actually, no, let me add the highs back in. I'm very picky about this, as you see. Which is, which is fine, I mean. Okay, there we go, it's starting to sound a little more clear. Ooh, it's just a little too much. I think there's something in the mids. No, it's the highs. Okay, let me back off. Okay, so right now, I may have already mentioned this, but I w don't blame this, you know how the guitar is a little muddy? Don't blame that on the mixer. That's just this pickup. It's very, very finicky. When I, uh, I do live streaming, so when I do the pickup, uh, when I play this guitar with the pickup, blah, 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 uh, when I do this through my computer, I can just really get in there and be very particular about the EQ. So this is more limited, but this is fine because um, I think it's good to learn uh, on, uh, have like less control and get, I know I've, a million times I've just lost my mind in the world of EQ and you lose your point of reference and then it just doesn't even sound, it, it sounds like worse when you're done, you know? So always good to, to maintain perspective. Okay, so I can't really, I can't really get too much more going. I need to take out some mids, some lows, I mean. Yeah. Maybe I do like that more, a little more mids. Yeah, it's just too much. It's too, there's something about it that it's not smooth, you know. Okay. I can't really do too much to it, so uh, that's fine. Um, you gotta make with what we have. So I do like the, the my voice sounds sounds fine for singing, I believe. Let, let's let's give it a shot now. So uh, so far I like everything. I think it's it's a fun fun small mixer board. I think um, it would be good to have some actual hall reverb. These are just really just variations of delays. So that's uh, that can be fixed. There is a return and send. So you could send um, send a signal to a reverb and then return it. 
back into the board instead of using the onboard effects. So um, depending on, on uh, the kind of style of music you do, maybe that, that's no big deal. So. All right, so this is exit music for a film, Radiohead. I'll probably, knowing me, I'll be changing stuff as I play, but it's fine. All right, here we go. Let's see how this thing sounds when it's tuned up a bit, finally tuned. Away from your sleep, the of your tears today. We escape. We escape. most part I think this is a uh, very good this is a good budget uh, budget audio channel mixer uh, this isn't one that uh, I would use for a like, big band obviously you only have four channels so if you're if you're just kind of starting out uh, this is a very good buy 
so biggest thing is i think if there's any changes they could do biggest one i would just think of is just just add a normal reverb that's any time i've used these these mixers there's a good just decent hall reverb so see how this is like this is more like a uh here i'll do an example this this is fine though see there's certain songs this is fine this is great for uh like a day in the life or something uh let me uh give that a whirl just curious how it's gonna sound now I just, I just have to hear it. It's my curious side. I read the news today, about a lucky man who made the grave. <laughs> I don't have the chords quite right. Uh, anyway, yeah. I read the news. It kind of has that, uh, it kind of has that sound, you know. So, uh, I was going to do, you know what, I'm just going to stick to, this is really what it's used for. Uh, I'm not going to do a digital audio into the computer uh, review. Just because, you know, I can manipulate the sound so much, which I'm going to do anyway. So I don't really think it's being true to the console for me to go in there and just be like doing all these crazy EQs when I'm just totally changing the sound after it goes through here. So this is really, uh, I think this is meant for, for, for playing live. That, that's, that's really what it is. And I'm using good cables, so just keep in mind, this is a, uh, there's a Mogami wire in the mic cable here. Uh, the outboard is not quite as good, but it's all gold-plated um, balance cables. So uh, honestly, for the price, this is a, a decent sound. Um, let me cut those out. So you can... Uh, let me let me go through the effect. I'm just curious. There's a vocal enhancer effect. Let's let's go through the effects one more time. Let, let, let's see. Okay, tape delay. Everyone loves tape delay, of course. So let's, let's try the tape delay. I'm curious. Uh, what's what's tape delay sound like? Tape delay. Hello. Gosh, is there any way to adjust? I would just like to know if there's a way to adjust the the sound. See, this isn't really a tape. If this is a tape delay, this is like a 20 millisecond, 15 millisecond delay. It's a, you know, <laughs> that's not really something that you would use uh, for like that often, you know. Um, it's just kind of, it sounds kind of robotic, kind of um, like you're trapped in a, in a little tin box or something. So, okay, here we go. Vocal doubler. I'm curious. See, vocal doubling can be very fun to use. See if it sounds like the George Michael Faith. You know, he does that kind of vo vocal Dublin check. <laughs> See, it just sounds the same. It's so funny. Uh, hello, check. Yeah. Hello, check, check. Maybe, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Like, am I uh, solo the effects? Yeah, there's solo buttons here, so. Um, I don't know if maybe there's a way to change, to fix the, the time. But um, anyway, uh, overall, this is a very fun little board. I, 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 I like it. Uh, I would use this for an acoustic gig. Why not? Um, I would just have to, I'd be very picky, as you see. I'd take a lot of time to, to really figure out the sound. So I would do this beforehand and kind of get everything uh, sounding perfect. And I would probably do like a keyboard through it, you know. Um, one thing I didn't do is I didn't use the main fader. So let's see what we can get. Check, 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 check. Okay, so yeah, these are very drastic change here. So now I'm adding a ton of mid-range, just 1K, just uh, just for fun, you know. Okay, let's take this off. Here we go. Oh, no 1K is not. Hello, check, 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 check. Okay, a little less 1K. Check, 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 test. Check, 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 test, check. Testing, check. Wait, wait. I wonder if this is better. Hello, testing. I think I like it a little more. I th my voice sounds just a little bit uh, more clean, so I could kind of work with that. Um, let me try to... Now, now, since I found a setting I like a little more with the master fader, I didn't use this as the stereographic equalizer, 
I didn't use that yet. So everything, it was just zeroed out. I was just only using the channels. So let's go ahead and try to get the guitar now. Maybe I can get a guitar sound I like more. Hmm. The mids sound better this way. Okay. It's, a, it's very bright. Let me add a lot of effects to it. Okay, that's too, too bright. I don't know why I always love to make radio, radio ed with the inbox reviews. That's a weird thing. I just, I just have to do it just because I love it. Green plastic watering can For fiction is I think it's a nice sound. That's fine. I would use this for, for vocals. Uh, so I wouldn't be using much effects. That's just, it's just too, it's too much. It's too, too much of that delay kind of thing going on, as I mentioned. Hello. This one sounds a little cleaner. Um, the thing is, um, what I'm noticing, this is like kind of an engineering thing. The delays, it's almost like too much of the highs in the delays. I want to ha have that cut, like cut out the highs. Um, so if there was an EQ on the effects channel, which you don't really see that that often, on, I'm sure on like high-end boards you would see that, but that would be a really cool feature. Uh, that's one thing that I'd like to see would be you could EQ the effects and um, an actual reverbs, the, an actual vocal doubler. Um, so I don't understand how effects are made in these boards and everything like that. Um, so I don't know like how easy some would be, but. Uh, I think that would improve the product, but once again, overall, uh, my voice sounds nice and clear here. Um, it sounds better with with uh, the stereo equalizer. So uh, I think the best sound I could get I did, would be plugging in a keyboard and, and singing uh, vocally, and uh, to make it even that much better, doing my own, just running through um, my own reverb, just sending. Uh, both channels, or just the vocals, you know, the keyboard's fine without it, uh, into a nice hall reverb, or like a plate or something like that, plate reverb. So, uh, once again, I know this has been a very long review, but this is, uh, I'm trying to be just as honest as I can, just give you just a full-on experience here. So, for a cheaper board, uh, depending on what you're doing, I think this is great if you're just going to sing two singers, two acoustic guitars, two singers, an acoustic, and a keyboard, that's fine. Go for it. Uh, this is a good good board for that. Uh, if you want to get a little of that reverb sound, just, just dial it back a little bit and find the right kind of delay. I'm just going to call these delays. These are delays. These aren't reverbs uh, for me. Hello? Check. 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 Let's go do it one more time. Check. <laughs> This is kind of cool. It has like a digital, digital kind of, almost like a, it crushes, a bit crushes a little bit. Try this one. Number nine. Hello. Hello. I read the news. This one's as close as we're getting. And actually, no. <laughs> It's better if you hold a note out, it's gonna sound a little more reverb -y, but when you do the um, uh, when you do more staccato rapid fire words, obviously it's you can hear those delays. Hello. Check. Check 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 very, 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 very strange that uh, that there's not like a good honest reverb, but um, depending on what you're doing, that may not be an issue. So uh, thank you so much. My name is Anthony Shea. Uh, if you like the content, please subscribe to, to our page here. Uh, we have music videos, and occasionally I do these unboxing uh, videos as well. And uh, for the most part, I just love to do engineering. This is the kind of stuff that I love doing. This is like so much fun for me. 
and uh, I've been trying to learn as much as I can. So uh, testing new equipment is always a blast. Uh, I think the Phoenix Pro PTX15 is, is a good entry level, I'll, I'm gonna call it an entry level uh, four channel mixer. And uh, it's better than some some mixers out there that are at this price, you know, than, than like Behringer or stuff like that. And I'm sure there might be an, an expensive Behringer that could compete with it. But um, I know that some of those Behringer boards, they don't even have effects. So this is cool that this this actually has effects. And it's cool. It has Bluetooth. You can plug it into your computer, which, I'm like, as I said, I'm not testing. But I do know that that works. So, um, uh, yeah, I think this uh, concludes the unboxing review. And thank you so much, uh, Phoenix Pro, uh, for the PTX15. This has been a blast to uh, uh, to, to give it a give it a whirl. So, yeah, overall, I like how my my voice sounds here. I think we dialed it in pretty good. So, uh, just for a last little thing, I'm gonna put everything back to zero. So that means I'm just gonna return the EQs back to normal. Let's start with the stereo equalizer. Let, let's work backwards. So here's the guitar. <laughs> go back okay now see how everything's changing yeah the sound whoa wow the sound changed a lot it was a lot better i wish i would have done the performing with it like this because <laughs> i mean like like the way it was before i mean because uh wow it, my voice definitely lost lost its character it, it was sounding present and it had um, a bit of punch to it <laughs> guitar doesn't sound as good either so yeah it makes a big difference you want to um you want to use your eqs on each channel get it dialed in how you like it and then just do that master eq to just bind everything together and bring out that that punch and that body so here we go zeroed out zero zero wow it's so pale just a pale pale uh sound and it's amazing what a little bit of EQ can do. And this is a good example of, uh, you can get a good sound out of this thing. It's a, the Vocally, I think by far it sounds the best. And I'm not gonna say that, the, I'm not blaming the guitar sound once again, I, uh, don't get me wrong. It's not the, the Phoenix Pro, it's just these pickups. These pickups are very weird. And um, I remember there's one board that I had the guitar on, I had to take a picture of it. It was so specific. It was like all these EQs I was like cutting out here and like raising this and then like <laughs> just like basically just like chiseling away frequencies and trying to like fill some in that, that are missing. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I think that that concludes. So um, you've heard the difference. This is very adjustable. You can uh, you can make it work for you. I, I think this is this is a fun little board. So uh, thank you so much. My name is Anthony Shea. I'm in a band called The Love Pool. Check us out. We've got a song called White Lies and Palm Trees. I uh, did a big uh, music video uh, with, it's real fun if you like Scott Pilgrim versus the world and uh, just video games in general. Uh, we actually go inside a video game uh, in this music video. So you can see it right on our page. Also, you can check us out at www.thelovepools.com. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. So uh, I'm signing off and we will see you soon. <laughs>